Welcome to the Pluto Lounge, where we just chill. I think I'm finally wrapping my head around what Dragon Age the Velgard is going to be. I'm somewhat obsessed with Dragon Age and was doing a little searching around the internet and I stumbled upon this rock paper shotgun article that had the title The Very First Dragon Age The Velgard Trailer Makes It Look Like a Fortnite Heist Movie. Heist. Also know that Patrick Weeks wrote a book called The Palace Job, a heist in a fantasy setting. When I watched the trailer again with this in mind, it's 100% a heist. <laughs> 100%. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. It's a heist. Well, except that it's purely my speculation, but you know, who's keeping count? <laughs> I've been wondering why Bioware decided to showcase level 1 combat for the gameplay reveal. For one, Inquisition fans, I'm sorry, Origins, Dragon Age 2 fans, we don't matter anymore. <laughs> so it's time for us to embrace that and appreciate for what the series is going to be. But anywho, Inquisition fans need to see enough to get excited for Velgard going all in as an action game. Maybe this isn't as big of a deal because the developers realized that the target audience for Dragon Age is now not gameplay combat enthusiasts. However, they still need to bring in a new player base to be successful, especially as Inquisition is 10 years old at this point. Now that Dragon Age is an action RPG, they need to target the action RPG fan base with a really strong gameplay reveal or demo. However, the gameplay reveal had level one combat that frankly looked quite boring. Now with me being invested in the series, I know that combat is always boring at level one. I know that, you know that, they know it, so why show it? Now Game Informer, uh, rest in peace, and to all of those who lost your job, keep your head up, things will get better. Released this interview with a couple of directors from Bioware, and this was said. High is, it can be colorful, it can be optimistic, but also you can have the lowest of lows where it gets gritty, it gets painful, uh, it gets quite dark. But throughout it all, there is a sense of optimism and it creates this delightful through line through the game, this identity that I really think is something special for the franchise now and going forward. A sense of optimism even in the darker moments of the game. This makes me think the game will never get that dark then. For example, there is no sense of optimism with Hawk's mother. <laughs> For a real world example, albeit a bit extreme, there is no optimism with the Gaza situation. Corinne also says that the optimism is something special now and going forward. This to me is a clear statement that this will be the direction for the Dragon Age series moving forward. John states this. We wanted the beginning of the game to feel like the final chapter of an earlier story. I believe this means Trespasser's cliffhanger will mostly be resolved with the prologue. Now, this is all my speculation, of course. My guess is that the game is going to be tonally different than the prologue that we just saw. With the prologue, it's like, oh, game is still gonna be dark. Didn't you just see that woman get snatched up by her dome? However, I think after the chapter is over, the game is going to shift to a far more lighthearted tone, similar to what we saw in the trailer. The trailer was received very negatively. I suspect they considered that as a possibility and had the gameplay reveal prepped to show that the Velgard will still have dark themes. However, if they showed gameplay a little later in the game, it would somewhat match what we saw in the trailer, further alienating the Dragon Age fanbase. Back to the heist. I'm not sure what exactly we'll be stealing. Beginning with Inquisition, it seems we're in the age of elven artifacts, so I suspect it would be something like that. Kind of, sort of, similar to Mass Effect 2, you won't be able to pull off the heist without your companions. Speaking of which, if there were any questions about what Bioware was focusing on for the Velgard, well, you have your answer. Focuses more on the team, focuses more on the group, focuses more on the party than it does on one specific person. The absolute beating heart of this game are these authentic, diverse companions. Is This is the game where we finally said out loud that Bioware's greatest strength is telling stories through characters. Putting the characters first, building the game around those character moments, those characters. Dragon Age has always been about characters. We cannot save the world without these characters. Story told through characters. Taking great care in how we introduce each and every single companion. These characters are still with you. These are the most fully realized, complex companions. The companions are so fleshed out, like my dear friends. Companions as realized characters. <laughs> yeah. As funny as that is, I am really excited that this will be a companion-driven story. Dragon Age 2 is my favorite. That also was a companion-driven story, so let's rock it. I, this is really the best Dragon Age game. Every game has heart and soul that goes into it, but this is something different. This is something more. I did not like that. 
I get or trying to promote Velgard. I get it. However, I think they took it a little bit too far. Like, why not just say the Velgard is my favorite? It's like, show a little respect to the games that came before. Origins has its flaws. However, I have tremendous respect for it because it built the foundation for all of the lore in the entire series. Previously, it feels like the companions are going on an adventure with me, the main character, whether it's the hero Ferelden or Hawk, you name it. But in Dragon Age The Veil Guard, in many ways, the companions are so fleshed out that it feels as though I'm going on a journey with them. Again, show a little respect to the games that came before. Dragon Age 2 was not an adventure where your companions are just following you around. Actually quite the opposite. The companions are very fleshed out, and maybe the difference here is that Hawk is also very fleshed out. The way he meets and then travels with his companions feels more like a partnership that evolves into a genuine friendship or rivalry. Maybe Rick isn't as fleshed out as Hawk, so when Rick journeys with their companions, it feels more like they are living through their companions. The game does really open up into some of our larger exploration areas. Now, it's not open world, but these are non-linear areas where you can open up new sections of the map, find new pathways, solving mysteries, finding ancient treasures, and some of our apex battles. There's some truly terrifying enemies you're going to encounter. This is dope. It's dope! Like, I'm excited about this. One of my favorite things of Inquisition was hunting down those dragons. <laughs> the only thing is, like, once you fight one dragon, you've kind of fought them all. They all have similar mechanics, just different health and damage values. Now, with Apex creatures, I'm assuming there's going to be different creatures. So I'm excited to see what the character team cooks up. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, you know, there's still going to be dragons. I mean, the game is called Dragon Age. So let's just see what happens. And Apex, that means, like, the top the highest so I'm expecting this will be challenging mechanics for the gameplay enthusiasts all in all I'm really hopeful that Velgard is going to be dope I'm excited for it yes I do believe it's gonna be far more lighthearted than we are used to with Dragon Age Origins and 2 and yes I do think heist is gonna be a major storyline really it comes down to the execution as long as they pull it off will be dope and the lightheartedness, I'm cool with them trying that out and seeing if it works. I just hope they don't completely abandon the darkness. <laughs> it sounds weird to say it like that, but you know what I mean. I don't want to see Dragon Age turn into the fantasy version of the Avengers. That would be kind of lame. But all in all, let's see. I'm going to pre-order it. Yes, I am going to pre-order it. I am really excited. I'm a little too obsessed about it, so we'll see.